the bottom line here is the vaccine does not prevent infection, it does not prevent transmission. So why would we make anybody take it? It is insane. These are self-inflicted wounds, whether we're talking about the military, within our, our health systems, you know, any parts of our economy where we force people to take a vaccine that doesn't prevent infection or transmission, again, it's an insane policy. The numbers I have, about 8,000 members of the military have been dismissed. About 17,000 are awaiting some termination on their uh, religious exemption. Uh, so, so this is serious business. But I, I'm, I'm here, and again, I'm speaking for myself. But I'm, I'm going to speak on behalf of those that are reluctant to take it. They're not crazy. Again, they, they now know, we now know, that it doesn't prevent transmission at all. It doesn't prevent infection. And the fact of the matter is there are safety signals that anybody who's looking at CDC and NIH and FDA data might have cause for concern about. Now, part of our problem here is that the FDA, the CDC, the NIH have not been honest. They have not been transparent. 